there's many things you don't know when a case first comes into your office. For instance, in a drunk driving case, they come in and they give you three or four motor vehicle tickets, maybe a small criminal charge that goes with it, and they tell you the story about how they were stopped, what the police officer made them do, and they say, what do you think? Well, you don't really know what to say because you've only heard their side of the story. My answer usually is, we need to see what the other side has to say. We need to see what the proofs are against you before I can formulate a better opinion. But based on what you've told me, these are the way things could play out now. That could change once we get the police reports. That could change once we look at the videotapes. I usually ask them, what are your goals in this case? Yeah. Because I want to know. The guy might say, I have a commercial driver's license. I can't afford to lose the, the drunk driving case. Uh, I just want to be able to keep driving. This is my third offense. I don't want to go to jail. Those are things that you have to know because your job is to as close as possible within the confines of the facts and the law of the case to try and deliver to your client what their expectations are. And John, I think you hit on something that's so important that so many attorneys <laughs> miss. You asking a client, what are your expectations? What do you want to get out of this is a question that a lot of lawyers don't ask. Because I, Yeah, I agree with you. They don't ask that. Right. Right. There are things that may be important to that client that we're never going to think of. We're not in their shoes. We're not living their life. And the fact that you have the empathy exactly. to start off with that question for them, that's meaningful to a client. That matters. And so many attorneys don't do that. I also will tell them as we go through the uh, progression of the case, these are the things I see, the issues that I've seen this is what we've developed from the facts in our experts report and this is what I expect may happen when we go to court but you need to understand I don't make these decisions they're not mine to make they're yours to make so you need to be engaged you need to follow what I'm saying so that you can make an intelligent decision